Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2019 Central Murray Football and Netball League vote count. I'd first of all uh, like to respectfully acknowledge the Wamba Wamba people of the tra the traditional custodians of this land on which we meet today and pay my respects to Elders both past and present and extend that to neighbouring tribes also and thank Plum Day for helping me out with the most appropriate way to acknowledge country. Um, just a little bit of housekeeping. First of all, I'm Jade, I'm your MC, along with Noel Watson, who is at the front table. Toilets, you can exit through the back door, straight down here, or out to the side. And there's toilets out there. Um, things will move pretty swiftly. We'll have a couple of breaks, obviously, for eating and all the rest of it. So welcome to board members. Welcome to our local councillor, Les McPhee. Welcome to our life members as well. Um, and also players, coaches and committee members. We'll get the night started with a deputy chairman's address because Brookie couldn't be with us tonight. So Greg Berry is going to give us the address and kick off the first round of awards. Um, welcome everyone, um, welcome to life members, sponsors, major partners, club executives, players, um, also uh, I should mention football, football operations manager David Altruccio, star, rack staff, um, also Josh and umpires, um, welcome. Um, let's uh, look forward to a great night on the uh, 2019 um, Central Murray Football Netball League presentation night. Early this season, I was rostered on, I'm involved with the McCorner Football Club, I was rostered on the gate and an old gentleman, which I gathered came from Swan Hill, drove up and he was startled and he looked at me and he said, John, what are you doing here? I didn't know what to say. I introduced myself and I commented, I don't look that old, do I? John's away, he'll be, uh, he'll be, um, doing a chairman's report at the annual meeting on November 11th. The, re the report will cover what we have and also um, cover our future direction going forward in the line of our strategic plan. It's a must read and I can just feel the excitement already. Yesterday we live, yesterday we live streamed the Golden Rivers Football Nepal League Grand Final. Uh, really exciting. Over, there was over 700 hits um, and at one time there's more than 200 people watching it. It was something fairly new, it was commentated, um, really good feedback. We even had feedback from Hong Kong and Kuwait. We are looking at other ways of spreading our exposure in, in both leagues. Bringing along for the ride, club stories, board member podcasts, more dynamic sponsorship packages through a broader range of viewers. Tonight is a big event for the Central Murray Football League calendar. Uh, Nepal League calendar. The in individual awards given out tonight are recognition for skill, endurance and of course playing in the spirit of the game. Please acknowledge teammates, coaches, trainers, managers and club executives if you get an award. These awards are not possible without the hard work of these club of volunteers. Good luck to everyone tonight and thank you. The first award for the evening is the 2019 GJ Gardner Club Championship Award. And the winner goes to the Swan Hill Football Nepal Club. Thanks, Greg. Uh, thanks to GJ Gardner Home for the sponsorship of this award. Um, it's great to get this acknowledgement for a, a cross-club effort. Uh, obviously, we've, in all grades, performed very, very well over football and netball. Uh, got seven teams playing this Saturday, so exciting time for the club, and hopefully uh, we can come over the chocolates there. But also, uh, congratulations to the league on their... Uh, their effort this year. It's been a really good season uh, all round and good luck to all the other teams participating on Saturday. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Well, you were there. <laughs> sorry. Okay, we move along uh, to the uh, coaching awards, and would you please uh, welcome David Eldruccio along to uh, acknowledge the uh, winners. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Noel. Um, on behalf of AFL Vic Country, uh, we wish all clubs, coaches, players all the best for this weekend's grand final. Uh, congratulations goes out to the Central Rivers Board um, and the fantastic volunteers that we have in this room and in our clubs throughout the season. In 2019, we had over 50 registered coaches with the Coach.AFL program. Coaching is a vital part of our game and is very rewarding for coaches to see players develop and become better people. In 2019, we celebrate and recognise the achievement of coaches in awarding them the Coach of the Month Award. This was selected by an independent panel based on coaches' input into the club, their players, their individual performance as a coach. At times, winning can become the focus of many coaches, but we need to remember the importance of player welfare development and the contribution given both on and off field. I would like to thank the Federal Hotel for their ongoing sponsorship towards the coaching program. Tonight, we award two coaches the Coach of the Year Award in both the youth and senior categories. These coaches are selected from the monthly Coach of the Month Award winners. So the 2019 youth finalists are Braden Wren, and this is for the youth category, Braden Wren from the Kundrook Baron Football Netball Club, Wes Pye from the Lake Boga Football Netball Club, Vince Mazzarella from the Warren Football Netball Club, and Daniel Cook from the Kahuna Kangas Football Netball Club. So it gives me a great pleasure to announce the Youth Coach of the Year for 2019 is Daniel Cook from the Kahuna Kangas Football Club. Um, obviously, uh, <coughs> thanks very much for uh, the donor of the trophy, the Federal Hotel. Uh, obviously, Daniel couldn't be here tonight. Um, just a few things around about Daniel is that uh, his game day preparation, obviously, during the week, his uh, preparation for the boys is uh, second to none. Uh, he puts a hell of a lot of time and effort into them, um, especially with a squad of only 15 boys this year. We're a little bit light on. But uh, he'll be uh, really stoked uh, to win this award uh, with all his time and effort that he's put in and uh, to bring those boys on to the level that they've got to. So thanks very much. That's great. Uh, congratulations to Daniel. Uh, so I'd like to congratulate the senior finalists in the uh, Central Murray Football League, Tom May from Kundrook Baron Football Netball Club, Justin Ellis from the Tintinda Football Netball Club, Mark Alvey from the Tullibuck Manang Football Netball Club and Tori Costa from the Warrenee Football Netball Club. Uh, so I'd like to announce and congratulate the 2019 Senior Coach of the Year is Tom May from the Kundrook Baron Football Netball Club. Um, unfortunately, Tom couldn't be here today, um, so obviously he would obviously, uh, like to thank the club for everything that they've done and supported him along the way. Um, he's endlessly working every night of the week. I know the girlfriend or the wife, Cody, is constantly talking about how much effort he puts into his footy, so um, he does appreciate this and thank you to the league and everyone else. Thanks. Um, also, another piece of housekeeping that I forgot, when you have got your award, exit stage my left to the media wall so that you can have photos taken for website, paper, Pam's around with her camera and everybody else that wants to take your photo. So that's where you need to go after that. Moving on to the Voyage Fitness Netball Coach of the Year finalists. Ross Stanton is going to come and present the winner. So the finalists were... Nikita Devro of Tintinda, Mads Nolder, Swan Hill, Georgia McDonald, Mally Eagles, and Jess Parry of Bal Ranold. Well done. Well done to everyone. And our winner is Mads Nolder from the Swan Hill Football Netball Club.
Um, I guess I'd, yeah, firstly just like to start with thanking uh, Voyage Fitness for the sponsorship um, of the award. Um, so thank you to Ren and Johnny um, for that support. Um, I guess I need to thank Swan Hill, um, yeah, for all their support um, over many years, um, not just as a senior coach, but also um, starting out as a junior coach. Um, they have an unwavering support um, and I wouldn't be able to do it without them. So I have a terrific committee behind me led by Tony Bloom um, and Callie Atkinson and Helen Morris. Um, so I couldn't have done it without them. Um, yeah, and I guess also I'd just like to quickly thank the league. I've had lots of great opportunities um, to take on roles of coaching um, within the league with the Junior Academy and the Senior Interleague um, and I think yeah, it's great that the league is in such good stead that they can offer such a wide range of opportunities um, across the board for not only players but coaches and umpires. So thank you to the league. Thank you, Mads, and good luck on Saturday. Time now for the Blue Ribbon Award for netball and football and to announce this and present the award is a member of our local constabulary, Les McPhee. Thanks, Jade. Um, just before I do this, you, you all know what the Blue Ribbon Football Netball Award's about. It's about the spirit of football. It's not necessarily about the best player. It's about having respect for the teammates, for the umpires and the opposition. The one thing that was really pleasing this year was the amount of younger players, both football and netball, that gained votes throughout the year. I think every club ought to be congratulated for the effort they put into those kids to show that they are behaving themselves on the football and netball grounds and they are our future of this league. So congratulations to all the clubs the way you've done that and I will announce the awards now. The first one is the netball. It's a Spirit of Netball Award for this year. It goes to Bridget King from the Tintinda Football Netball Club. Um, I just want to say thanks to my club, Tintinda, and whoever voted for this. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's actually the umpires that put the votes in, so just remember that in future. Look after the umpires. Being one in the, an umpire in my past life, you've got to look after us. Anyway, um, and look, the award for the Footballer of the Year, the Colts um, Spirit of Football Award, from the Bell Reynold Football Club, goes to Jason Gilby. Uh, I'd just like to thank the club and mum and dad and all the coaches and the umpires as well. Thank you. And you can take direction. Les and I were both, thank the umpires, thank the umpires. And he did. Well done. Uh, we are going to, I know it feels like we've only just started, but we're going to have a quick five minute break um, so we can do some auditing of the slides and whatever. Recharge your glasses, go to the loo, do what you've got to do and we'll be back in five minutes. I promise it won't be any longer than that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Almost five minutes exactly, perhaps not. So the next presentation of the evening is the 17 and under McDonald's Netball MVP Award. And the nominations were Faith Jolliffe, Belle Reynold, Alana Bookham, uh, Tara Cordina, Remy Bennett, Bridget King, Zoe Magnuson, and Lucy Palmer, and our winner of the 2019 17 and Under McDonald's Netball MVP Award is, and I know she's here, Millie Reed from Swan Hill. Yes, you do. Um. 
Um, I'd like to thank the club, Swan Hill, for supporting me. Um, Clarky, my coach, for supporting me too, and my parents for taking me to and from the netball games each week. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> well done, Millie. Now on to the 17 and under netball best and fairest count. We're going to stop and have a look at leaderboards at round 12 and round 16, I believe. 12 will come up now. Round 12 will come up now. So this is where we are at round 12. Bridget King on 23 is leading the pack. But it's pretty tight for number two. And there is a runners-up award for 17 and under. So... On with the count. Thanks, Sheridan. Thank okay, round 13, Swan Hill v Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Bridget King. Kahuna Kangas versus Tulibak Menangatang. Three votes, Tulibak Menangatang, Caitlin Hazlitt. Balranald versus Warren Ean. Three votes, Balranald, Brianna Hodgson. Kundruk Barron versus Kerrang. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Claudia Short. Round 14, Lake Boga versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kahuna, Lucy Palmer. Warrenine versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Remy Bennett. Kerrang versus Balranald. Three votes, Balranald, Macy Lloyd. Kundruk Barham versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Tatum Boyd. Round 15, Kahuna versus Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Madison Curran. Mally Eagles versus Tulibak Menangatang. Three votes, Tulibak Menangatang, Charlotte Rush. Swan Hill versus Kerrang. Three votes, Swan Hill, Millie Reed. Bal Ronald versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes, Bal Ranald, Hannah Morton. <laughs> Round 16, Tulibak Menangatang versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Tulibak Menangatang, Kate Nelson. Warrenine versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kahuna, Zoe Tooley. Kundruk Barron versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Sophie Balkan. Mally Eagles versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Bal Ranald, Macy Lloyd. All the other clubs feel free to cheer as well, not just Bal Ranald. But it sounds like Bal Ranald's the only club in the room. Keep it up. I love it. Um, it's great to see so many clubs represented in the top five, um, which is great. Bridget's pulled away a little bit. Had a good year, Bridge. Oh, yep, good. There's no place for humility at a presentation night. Um, we'll go on with the next lot. Do we have another stop down, another leaderboard? No, nope. on with it then. Okay, yep. round 17, Tullibuck Menangatang versus Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Bridget King. Lake Burger versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Amy Edwards. Kahuna Kangas versus Kerrang. Three votes, Kahuna, Lucy Palmer. <laughs> Swan Hill versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Bal Ranald, Hannah Morton. <laughs> Round 18, Tintinda versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Tintinda, Eve Crow. Warrenine versus Tullibuck Menangatang. Three votes, Tullibuck Menangatang, Caitlin Hazlitt. Kundrick Barron versus Kahuna. Three votes, Kahuna. Chloe McKenzie. Mally Eagles versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill. Millie Reed. So we have a tie for the runners up. <laughs> Hannah Morton. And Millie Reed, if you could both come up. And Ross will present you with your awards. Bridge, you can just sit there for a minute.
Do you like to say anything more, Mill? Nah. <laughs> Hannah, you better. You better thank your um, I'd just like to thank my parents for taking me to netball each weekend, uh, the club for all their support, and the girls for a great year. Well done, ladies. And the 2019, uh, 17 and under netball best and fairest, Bridget King from Tintinda. Thanks again to Tintinda. <laughs> um, I also want to thank all the other girls in the competition. Um, it's been a great season and yeah, we've um, although we haven't really come close with many teams, it's been good to play. So yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Bridge. Another small piece of housekeeping, you shouldn't have to say it in this day and age, but turn your phones off. If they do ring, I want it here and I want to speak to the person on it or I want to read the text message. So check your phones. Uh, now, Neil, uh, Noel and Scott are going to present the goal kicking for the Colts. Yes. We are going to do the goal kicking for the Colts. Thanks a lot, uh, Jade, for that. You got him? Beautiful. Uh, the 2019 Mawson's goal, uh, Colts goal kicking award. I'll hand it over to Scott on behalf of Mawson's to do the uh, honours. Thanks, Noel. So I think we're reading out from five, yep. So in fifth place is Elijah Milano, uh, Milano from, or Miliano from Warrenine. Fourth is Joshua Walters from Kerrang. Third place, Marty McDonald from Mallee Eagles. And second, Archie Tooley from Kahuna. So, and the winner for 2019 is uh, Byron Holt from Lake Boga Football Netball Club. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, just like to thank mum and dad for taking me all to trainings and games and all that. And uh, thanks to the coaches, Jesu and Brawny. Uh, it's been a good year. And uh, thanks to all my teammates for kicking it to me. You should do that. Thank you much for kicking it to you. The uh, 2019 Colts McDonald's MVP award. And again, Scott uh, will... Uh, Go from five back to two and then announce the winner on behalf of McDonald's. Thanks again, Noel. Righto. The top number five, Riley Daniels from 9i West uh, United Football Netball Club in 30. Number fourth, Marty Parsons from Lake Boga is 32. Third, Darcy McGregor of Mallee Eagles in 36. Our equal third, that is two with Luke Doolan from Mallee Eagles on 36 as well. So pinching votes off each other there. Second, Dylan Hurd from Kahuna. And the winner for 2019 is Henry Thompson from Moranine Football Club. Um, I'd just like to thank Mackers for the award, for Murph and Beamer for coaching and the club for just letting me play football and not, not making me worry about anything else and yeah, that's about it. Okay, we move along to the, uh, well a time honoured actually uh, award here, the 2019 Colts Len Matheson medal and a lot of people here will uh, remember the late great Lenny Matheson. Uh, so the Len Matheson medal for the BNF in the Colts. Uh, uh, similar as we did with the netball, uh, we'll kick off with the lead, uh, le leaderboard at round 12. There we go. And then we'll do the updates uh, for you uh, as we go on uh, through. But you can see there, Darcy McGregor up top. Uh, hey, quality players, these blokes. Absolute future of the league. I uh, don't need to go through them too much, but uh, absolutely fantastic. So Dave, we'll hand it over to you for uh, some updates for us. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Noel. Round 13, Swan Hill v Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Ryan Featherby. Nine, I West United v Lake Boga. Three votes, Lake Boga, Angus Jones. 
Kahuna Kangas v Tullybuck Manangatang. Three votes. Kahuna, Will O'Shea. Baranald v Warrenine. Three votes. Warrenine, Matthew King. Kunjuk Baran v Karang. Three votes. Karang, Cal Adams. Round 14. Tintinda v Nye Nye West United. Three votes. Nye West United, Riley Daniels. Lake Boga v Kahuna. Three votes. Kahuna, Xavier Mitchell. Warrenine v Swan Hill. Three votes. Warrenine, Elijah Miliado. Karang v Baranald. Three votes. Karang, Cal Adams. Kundruk Barham v Mallee Eagles. Three votes. Kundruk Barham, Henry Barr. Round 15. Kahuna Kangas v Tintinda. Three votes. Kahuna, Dylan Hurd. Mallee Eagles v Tully Buckmanang. Three votes. Mallee Eagles, Darcy McGregor. Nine Eye West United v Warrenine. Three votes. Warrenine, Archie O'Halloran Farrow. Swan Hill v Kerrang. Three votes. Kerrang, Cal Adams. Round 16. Tully Buck Manang v Lake Boga. Three votes. Lake Boga, Brian Holt. Warrenine v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes. Kahuna Kangas, Patrick Doyle. Kerrang v Nine Eye West United. Three votes. Nine Eye West United, Campbell Everett. Kundruk Barham v Swan Hill. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Joshua French. Mallee Eagles v Baranald. Three votes, Mallee Eagles, Luke Doolan. Okay, we can see uh, the Mallee Eagles dominating here, Darcy and Luke. But uh, we've got plenty of votes to come, especially you have a look at that uh, probably top five or six anyway. So... David, over to you, young man. Lynn Matheson medal for 2019. Round 16. Tully Buck, Manangatang v Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Jack Featherby. Lake Boga v Mallee Eagles. Three votes, Lake Boga, Marty Parsons. Kahuna Kangas v Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Sean Hunter. Swan Hill v Baranald. Three votes, Swan Hill. Liam Thornton. Round 18. Tintinda v Lake Boga. Three votes, Lake Boga, Brian Holt. Warrenine v Tully Buck, Manangatang. Three votes, Warrenine, Zachary Geimer. Kunjuk Baron v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kahuna Kangas, Dylan Hurd. Baranald v Nine Eye West United. Three votes, Nine Eye West United, Cooper Charles. Mallee Eagles v Swan Hill. Three votes, Mallee Eagles, Harry McGregor. Okay, it gives me pleasure to announce the 2019 Murray uh, Central Murray Football Club winner is Darcy McGregor. Congratulations, Darcy. From the, Mal from the Mallee Eagles Football Club with 25 votes. Well done. Uh, I'd like to thank the league, thank our club, um, thank our coaches, Duck, Bassey and Dino. And um, good luck to everyone in the grand final and thanks to Bibbs for taking me all the games. Champion effort, well done. Spoke really well. Okay, we have a uh, little bit of a break here now because uh, Main Mill I think is going to be underway. Uh, the uh, Tullybuck Club doing a fantastic job there. So we're a couple of minutes ahead of play, but it'll just give us a little bit more of a break. So we'll have a break and we'll be back. Thank you. Swapping meals and whatnot. Hello, bully. I didn't recognise you before. How are you? Just a little catch up, as you were. Um, okay, so uh, also we've had a couple of requests for leaderboards um, and running totals and all the rest of it, the final counts. They'll be up on the website tomorrow morning. So if you want to have a look where the players of your clubs finished, um, where you finished etc, etc. They'll be uploaded onto the website in the morning. Our next award is the B Reserve Netball Best and Fairest. We're going to start at round 12 again. Can we have the leaderboard please, Choco? There we go. Angela McNeil from Kahuna, is she here? Yay! 
Don Fellows from Warren, ain't she here? Are they both here? No, just one. That's odd. Um, Mrs. Gardner? Keandra Dalton from Bell Reynold, is she here? No, but Bell Reynold is excellent. Righto, thank you, Sheridan. Okay, round 13, Swan Hill v Tintinda. Three votes, Swan Hill, Melanie Bennett. Nine Eye West United versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Lake Boga, Sandra Ewart. Kahuna versus Tulubak Manangatang. Three votes, Kahuna, Gab Fitzpatrick. Bal Ronald versus Warrenine. Three votes, Bal Ronald, Amelia Kalija. Kundruk Barham versus Kerrang. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Georgia Andrew Mills. Tin, uh, round 14, Tintinda versus Nine R West United. Three votes, Tintinda, Wendy Tashuma. Lake Boga versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kahuna, Demi Pascoe. Warrenine v Swan Hill. Three votes, Warrenine. Janelle Fellows. Kerrang versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Bal Ranald. Lisa Jolliffe. Kundruk Barron versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles. Sarah Middleton. Round 15, Kahuna versus Tintinda. Three votes, Kahuna. Angela McNeil. Mally Eagles versus Tulibak Manangatang. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Carly Bullen. Nine Eye West United versus Warrenean. Three votes, Warrenean, Danelle Fellows. Swan Hill versus Kerrang. Three votes, Swan Hill, Stacey Laurie. Balranald versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes, Balranald, Keandra Dalton. Round 16. Tulibak Manangatang versus Lake Boga. Three votes Lake Boga, Blinda Davies. Warrenean versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes Warrenean, Kylie Gardner. <laughs> Kerrang versus Nine Eye West United. Three votes Nine Eye West United, Kayla Harvey. Kundruk Barron versus Swan Hill. Three votes Swan Hill, Madeline Wright. Mally Eagles versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Mally Eagles. Nikita Dacey. Could there be anything more demoralising than when your name is read out that your entire club goes, no. <laughs> Yay! Go, Mrs Gardner. It's tight. Angela McNeil still hanging in there by a point over Danelle. And Mrs Gardner following close behind. No, no. <laughs> Yay! On 22. A couple of rounds to go. Round 17. Tully Buck Manangatang versus Tin Tinder. Three votes Tin Tinder. Zoe Benfield. Lake Boga versus Mally Eagles. Three votes Lake Boga. Naomi Noble. Kahuna Kangas versus Kerrang. Three votes Kahuna. Demi Pascoe. Swan Hill versus Bal Ranald. Three votes Bal Ranald. Keandra Dalton. Round 18, Tintinda versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Lake Boga, Sandra Ewart. Warrenine versus Tulibak Manangatang. Three votes, Warrenine, Marley Domal. <laughs> Kundruk Barron versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kahuna, Angela McNeil. Bal Ranald versus Nine Eye West United. Three votes, Bal Ranald, Lisa Jolliffe. Mally Eagles versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Madeline Wright. So if I could have Ross on stage, he's getting there, to present the 2019 B Reserve Netball Best and Fairest to Angela McNeil of Kahuna.
she's going to go, that limp looks like you're not umpiring nor playing this week. So Kahuna are playing Belle Reynold, I believe, in the B Reserve this weekend. I'll just pad for a little bit while she climbs the stairs. Here's some inside information. She's not playing. Um, so to answer Jade's question, um, Bell Reynold game, um, I did my ACL. Um, so yes, I am definitely not available for this weekend as much as I would love to be out there playing. So, um, but I thank the Bell Reynold girls um, for their support on the day. Um, so yeah, anyway. So um, very privileged to be here. Um, I thank my club. My coach, who's not here today, who's in hospital, so um, big shout out to her who's got us here this season. Um, my fantastic teammates. Um, we really, really hope we can take it all the way uh, to the grand final and win on Saturday. Um, and I guess to my family and co-supporters. So um, thanks everyone, really appreciate it. And um, hopefully we take this one more and win a grand final on the weekend. Thanks, Angela. Gosh, another ACL. There's been a lot of ACL injuries this year. Netball and football. Okay, on to B grade. Are we just having a look at the final leaderboard? Choco wanted me to point this out. So if you want to see where you finished, here they are. And now on to the B grade, best and fairest. Starting from round 12, thank you, Sheridan. Okay, going into round 13, Swan Hill versus Tin Tinder. Three votes, Tin Tinder, Keely Magnuson. Nine Eye West United versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Lake Boga, Brianna Walsh. Kundruk Barron versus Kerrang. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Fiona Jacobs. Round 14, Tintinda versus Nine I West United. Three votes, Tintinda, Candace Fraser. Warrenean versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Warrenean, Amber Stikey. Kundruk Barham versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Ashley Faulkner. Round 15, Mally Eagles versus Tullybuck Menangatang. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Deborah Parsons. Nine Eye West United versus Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Tamara Cordwell. Swan Hill versus Kerrang. Three votes, Swan Hill, Romany Kennedy. Round 16, Tullybuck Menangatang versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Lake Boga, Brianna Walsh. Kerrang versus Nine I West United. Three votes, Nine I West United, Shanae Kelly. Kundruk Barron versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Ali Atkinson. To go with an old footy cliche, it's still mathematically possible that Deb won't win. Mathematically possible. Not to say that I don't want it to. How many of these have you won, Deb? Two. Only two. That's a pro Yeah, not enough. I agree. Anyway, she's well out in front. Shanae is second and Jacinta and Amber Stikey and Romney Kennedy all on 11. So still mathematically possible for anybody to win. Round 17. Tullybuck Menangatang versus Tin Tinder. Three votes Tin Tinder. Georgia Zambali. Lake Boga versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Lake Boga, Tori Gorringe. Round 18, Tintinda versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Tintinda, Stephanie Hartshorn. Warrenine versus Tullybuck Menangatang. Three votes, Warrenine, Jacinta Siciliano. Mally Eagles versus Swan Hill. 
Three votes, Mally Eagles, Jess Warner. It would have been mathematically possible to win if we had another six rounds. Ross, if you could come and present the 2019 B-grade Netball Best and Fairest for her third time, Deb Parsons. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the league. I'm pretty privileged to play in a competition that we have. Um, I'd like to thank the Lelbert or Mallee Eagles, who support all of us every week, every Saturday. Um, I'd like to thank my family, my husband and my four little kids at home. And I've been told to thank the babysitter, Vicky McDonald. <laughs> um, text me before and said, please thank me. So um, I kind of take this award on behalf of the girls I play with every week. We've got nine girls that step out on the court and they all play their role. So for me, I can't play by myself and I certainly can't win by myself. So for those girls that deliver the ball and, and do everything I ask as a coach for them every week, um, I'm pretty lucky to have that. Um, I look forward to the weekend when we take on Warrenine again. After last Saturday, we need another crack at them. So um, we're all, yeah, geared up, ready to go. And we uh, wish everyone who's in the finals this week the best of luck. Thanks. And good luck for Saturday. The leaderboard again, so we can take note. Well done. Three is a fine effort. Ross, you may as well stand, stay here. Yeah, great. <laughs> On to the A reserve now. There's the leaderboard at round 12. It's close. There's only two votes in it. I'll hand it over to Sherry. Let's see. Thanks, Jade. Round 13, Swan Hill versus Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, De Tess Denham. Nine Eye West United versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Nine Eye West United, Kerry Curran. Kahuna Kangas versus Tullibuck Menangatang. Three votes, Tullibuck Menangatang, Zoe Fuller. Bal Ranald versus Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Gretchen Skinner. Kundruk Barham versus Kerrang. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Mandy Champion. Round 14, Tintinda versus Nine Eye West United. Three votes, Tintinda, Tess Denham. Lake Boga versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Lake Boga, Samantha Taverna. Warrenine versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Christine Hewitt. Kerrang versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Bal Ranald. Chloe Melito. Kundruk Barham versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles. Megan Thornycroft. Round 15, Kahuna Kangas versus Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda. Nikita Devro. Mally Eagles versus Tullibuck Menangatang. Three votes, Mally Eagles. Megan Thornycroft. Nine Eye West United versus Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine. Jamie Beasy. Swan Hill versus Kerrang. Three votes, Swan Hill. Hayley Newshafer. Bar Arnold versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes, Kundruk Barham. Chelsea Lowry. Round 16, Tullibuck Menangatang versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Tullibuck Menangatang, Cara Lyric. Warrenine versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Warrenine, Tony Bolton. Kerrang versus Nine Eye West United. Three votes, Nine Eye West United, Nicole Harvey. Kundruk Barron versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Jade Hunter. Mellie Eagles versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Melly Eagles, Lauren Martin. Wow. That's the problem when you have so many good players in one side and they start stealing votes off one another, isn't it? But four, what is that, four or five? Five players on 16 votes. And Tess, who's hiding over there in the dark, on 19, two rounds to go. 
Okay, round 17, Tullibak Manangatang versus Tin Tinder. Three votes, Tullibak Manangatang. Zoe Fuller. Blake Boger versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Sarah Young. Kahuna Kangas versus Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Sophie Martins. Swan Hill versus Bell Ranald. Three votes, Swan Hill, Hayley Newshafer. Round 18, Bell Ranald versus Nine Eye West United. Three votes, Nine Eye West United, Nundia Brabham. Mally Eagles versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Bianca Brown. Kundruk Barham versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kundruk Barham. Chelsea Lowry. Tintinda versus Lake Boga. Three votes. Tintinda. Noni Domal. Warrenine versus Tullibak Manangatang. Three votes. Tullibak Manangatang. Cara Lyric. So, that makes things interesting, doesn't it? Don't put it up yet, Choco. So it was close before. It's closer now. We have a three-way tie. We have, and if you could all make your way to the front, please, Chelsea Lowry from Kundruk Barham, Zoe Fuller from Tullibuck Manangatang, and Tess Denham, all on 19 votes. Um, again, unfortunately, Chelsea isn't here. Um, I will definitely pass this on to her. Uh, massive effort, Chelsea. You're not coming, uh, you're not retiring because you clearly won and you're clearly good. So get back out there, Chelsea. We want you next year. So thanks. Congratulations to the other winners. Oh, do I have to speak? Yes. Yes, you do. Um, <laughs> thank you to Tintinda Football Netball Club. Really appreciate it. Sorry. Um, did not expect this at all. I thought I had a really um, bad season, but um, the fact that I wasn't even going to play this year, i um, kind of glad now that I did. <laughs> so, no, nah, thank you. Thank you to my coaches, Mon and Bridge, um, and obviously to my teammates. They're the ones that actually make me look good out on that court. So, thank you. Um, I'm accepting this on behalf of Zoe Fuller, who isn't here tonight. Um, I'm sure she'd like to thank our club, her coaches, um, Nat and Emily, and thanks to the league. And it's all of a sudden dawned on Tess why she hasn't been the trophy girl tonight thus far. The pennies, I heard it, the penny just dropped when she looked at the, ah, that's why she's been allocated down there. So that is the, uh, the A Reserve. Oh, it's gone. You'll see it on the website tomorrow. Noel's turn. Gav's turn. Uh, we're doing the uh, 2019 Mawson's uh, ooh, Reserves Goal Kicking Award, and we do thank Mawson's uh, very sincerely for their uh, ongoing sponsorship. So I'll hand it over to Gav to read out 5 through to 1. Thanks, mate. Ta, thanks, Noel. Um, in fifth place, we have Sean Bedgwood from the Mallee Eagles on 28 goals. In fourth, we have Damien Hurst from Swan Hill on 30. In third place, we have Sebastian Listen from Swan Hill on 32. In second place, we have Maddie Curran from Nine Eye West United on 42. And the winner of the Mawson's Reserves goal kicking is Zach Corwell from the Warren Football Netball Club. Yeah, thanks to uh, Warren Footy Club and Mawson's for the sponsor of the uh, goal kicking award. Um, best of luck to all the teams in the grand final and hopefully we can go back to back reserves and seniors. Well done. Good work, Zach. Terrific stuff. Good player. Uh, the 2019 Showbiz Cinemas Reserves MVP. And again, five through to one. Over to you, Gab. Uh, thanks, Noel. 
Um, in fifth place of the Shaby cinema, Cinemas reverse, Reserves MVP, we have fifth. In fifth, we have Andrew Lollicato from Warrnambool Football Club on 27. Fourth place, we have Maddie Curran from Nine I West United on 28. Third place, we have Michael Pe Michael Peel from Kundrook Barham on 30, 31 votes. Second place, we have Matthew Coates from Kerrang on 43. And the winner of the Shoby Cinemas Reserves MB MVPs, Liam Barry from the Lake Boga Football Netball Club. Thanks very much. Uh, I'm not Liam. Uh, he was coming tonight, but he had a uh, had to stay in with the kids. They were getting ready for preschool in the morning. Uh, he's been a really good servant of the club, and he'd like to thank everybody, the uh, sponsors, Central Murray, and uh, all concerned. Thanks very much. Okay, just while the uh, boys get set up for the reserves uh, football best and fairest account. Just uh, something that has been brought to my attention over here earlier on and didn't think about it till now. 2018 and 2019, 40 under 14s, Colts, Reserves and Seniors, they're the same sides all the way through. Trivia, worth nothing, but there you are. Crowbar, if you get a vote in this lot, where are you, Crowbar? <laughs> Thank you very much. Crowbar said they were starting at about half past two, so we expect to hear some uh, revelations a little bit later on, but we'll go with it. The Reserves, uh, best and fairest, we'll give uh, Scott, if you would, come up. Cheers, mate. Again, uh, leaderboard at round 12. There we are. You can read them uh, pretty much uh, all the way through there. Typical uh, reserves tend to be a little bit lower, a little bit more spread out. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll go through. We'll have another update for you from uh, round 16. So, Dave, if you could, please. Thanks, Noel. Round 13, Swan Hill v Tintinda. Three votes, Swan Hill, Adam Manning. 9 I West United v Lake Boga. Three votes, 9 I West United, Matthew Curran. Kahuna Kangas v Tully Buckman Angatang. Three votes, Tully Buckman Angatang, Darren Wardle. Baranald v Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Daniel Mace. Kundruk Barham v Kerrang. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Michael Peel. Round 14, Tintinda v 9 I West United. Three votes, 9 I West United, William Gibson. Lake Boga v Kahuna Kangas, three votes Lake Boga, Gary Goods. Warrenine v Swan Hill, three votes Warrenine, Jake Butler. Kerrang v Baranald, three votes Kerrang, Matthew Coates. Kundruk Barham v Mallee Eagles, three votes Kundruk Barham, Greg Whelan. Round 15, Kahuna Kangas v Tintinda, three votes Kahuna Kangas, Jack Patterson. Mally Eagles v Tully Buckman Angatang. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Joshua Stanya. Nine I West United v Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Austin McCaro. Swan Hill v Kerrang. Three votes, Swan Hill, Jared Halligan. Baranald v Kunjuk Barham. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Michael Peel. Round 16, Tully Buckman Angatang v Lake Boga. Three votes, Lake Boga, Liam Barry. Warrenine v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Warrenine, Andrew Lollicato. Kerrang v Nine I West United. Three votes, Nine I West United. Three votes, Marcus Skinner. Kundruk Barron v Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Jared Halligan. Mally Eagles v Barunald. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Joshua Stanya. Thanks, Dave. There we are, the updates uh, all the way through. Coatsy's on top at the moment with uh, 17. And uh, someone used to help me with the, the medals, etc. used to say, watch the twos. Watch the twos, because there'd been quite a few of them coming through. And unusual with the reserves, around about the early 20s, maybe if they get to that high 20s. But uh, Matthew Coates up there at the moment. And two rounds to go, two important ones, David. Over to you, mate, and then we'll hand it over to Scott to announce the winner.
Round 17, Tuli Buck Mananga Tang v Tintinda. Three votes, Tuli Buck Mananga Tang, Jake Booty. Lake Boga v Mallee Eagles. Three votes, Mallee Eagles, Joshua Stanya. Kahuna Kangas v Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Matthew Coates. Swan Hill v Bar Arnold. Three votes, Swan Hill, Tristan Ramp Rantage. Ramage. Round 18, Tintinda v Lake Boga. Three votes, Lake Boga, Liam Barry. Warrenine v Tullybuck Manangatang. Three votes, Warrenine, Daniel Mace. Kundruk Barham v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Michael Peel. Baranald v Nine I West United. Three votes, Nine I West United, Jacob Pitts. Mally Eagles v Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Tristan Ramage. Right, it gives me pleasure to announce 2019 Reserves Best and Fairest as Matty Coates from the Craig Footy Club. I'm oh, sorry, I had 20 votes too. Go on, Matty. All right, so I suppose I'll start off with thanking the Crank Footy Club. Um, it really is a great place to uh, play footy, great club to be a part of. Uh, secondly, obviously the volunteers, not only volunteers at our footy club, but every single footy club um, in the league, without, especially in reserves, Colts, those, the other grades, without all the reserves, um, without all the volunteers, sorry, we wouldn't, we wouldn't get, out, get to go out there and do what we love doing and play footy, so... Um, hats off to you guys. Um, yeah, good luck to all the teams playing Sadie and the Granny. Cheers. Okay, again, the uh, leaderboard is up, so uh, take the opportunity to catch up with that tomorrow uh, with all the social media. We need to take another short break, and then uh, Jade is back with some more umpiring information. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I trust you've had enough time now to get organised, get drinks and all the rest of it. I'd like to call to the stage now Laura Crow, who's part of the uh, Umpires Committee, and also Rosie Ficara, who's a League Life member and also major sponsor of the Umpires from Kennedy's Showcase Jewellers. They're going to present the 2019 Umpire Awards. Mm, they're steep. Those ones are bad. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jade. Okay, uh, this year we have a new look committee and approach to um, the umpires in our region. And I would like to firstly acknowledge the committee members who have given up countless hours to ensuring that the future of umpires across our leagues is strong and secure. The Central Rivers Umpire Committee consisted of Stacey Wells, Anne Waddy, Leah Andrews, Beck Gray, Tanya Spencer, Sheridan Harrop, Laura Benny, myself and Josh Thornton as our chair and mediator. Following concerns with the lack of umpires across the leagues, our aim was to build the capacity to badge more umpires and set up an academy to support this. We can proudly say we achieved all of this with 15 umpires in our league being badged this year in comparison to one in 2018. But, oh yeah, I think it does deserve a round of applause. <laughs> um, by building this capacity, we can confidently and proudly say we have used all local umpires for the final series this year, which is the first time in many years. So that's another thing to be proud of. Uh, thank you to Rosie Fakara who stands here not only um, as the major sponsor of the umpires in our league, also for her support and encouragement of our umpires and of us as a committee. 
Uh, Rosie uh, assisted us on the long weekend when we badged um, 14 or 15 of our new umpires. So moving on to the awards. Here are the sea badged umpires for 2019 and I'd ask all, we'll, rate, we'll save our applause to the end um, as all the girls make their way to the stage. So Olivia Andrews from Swan Hill, Ange McGowan from Lake Boga, Bella Robinson from Kahuna, Brie Basil from Kerrang, Carly Hazlitt, Tully Buck Manangatang, Claudia Free, Warrenine, Georgia Craig, Neil, Swan Hill, Jacqueline Clark, Tully Buck Manangatang, Keely Magnuson, Tin Tinder, Kelly Hodgson. I, I would like to add the last person badged at the Bar Arnold Football Netball Club was Kelly's mum. So this is an amaz amazing achievement for Kelly. <laughs> nice top, Brie. Madison White from Tin Tinder. Shantae Harrop, Lake Boga. Talia Barry, Warrenine. Tatum Boyd, Kundruk Barham. <laughs> and Talani Lake from Kundrup Baron. So we're really proud of all these girls and the efforts they put in for attending the academy uh, for three consecutive weeks um, and obtaining their badge this year. So well done, girls. You have to have a photo somehow, I don't know how, but maybe a pyramid? Yeah. Have you got your bag? Talia's here. It's fine. It's fine. Talani's here. And Tatum's here. Okay, Tatum's here. Okay, moving on to the awards, we have three categories and the first category is the badged umpire of the year and obviously you need to be badged to win this award. Um, I'm going to announce the winner, winner so that she can make her way to the stage and the winner for 2019 is Leah Andrews from the Swan Hill Football Netball Club. <laughs> Leah is a very, very worthy recipient of this award. She is a B-badged umpire. Uh, and as I said, from the Swan Hill Football Netball Club. Week in, week out, if Leah is not on the sidelines umpiring, she's courtside mentoring the junior umpires at her club. Leah is an integral member of the uh, Central Rivers Umpire Committee and has been a head panellist for several of our recently badged uh, umpires this season. Le Leah was deservedly awarded the A-grade grand final uh, yesterday in the Golden Rivers Football Netball Club, which I know she thoroughly enjoyed and deserved. Congratulations, Leah. Uh, thank you. Um, I guess I'm here not for me because, you know, it's these young people um, that have taken up umpiring and taking it seriously that helps our league um, and it also helps our games. So whatever I can do to give back, um, then that's my role. So thank you. The next award is the Rookie Umpire and it's awarded to a newly badged umpire and this year the winner is Shantae Harrett from the Lake Boga Football Netball Club. <laughs> Shantae has been umpiring for many years under the guidance of her auntie out at Lake Boga and she was invited to the 2019 Umpire Academy earlier this year. Shantae worked hard and, award and was awarded and earned her badge on the long weekend of this year. She's not afraid to take on a challenge since earning her badge and has umpired an agro game already this season. So well done, Shantae. Um, I would like to say thank Sherry uh, for pushing me to do umpiring. You know, it's a great experience and everyone in the umpire academy organised it and yeah, thank you. The final award is the Encouragement Award um, and it goes to a, a beginning umpire who's not quite badged yet but I'm very, very confident that um, 2020 will see this young girl um, obtain her C badge and that's Amy Simpson from the Swan Hill Football Netball Club. <laughs> and Auntie Leah will come and accept that award. Uh, Amy has been a part of the academy which we ran later in the season and since uh, picking up a whistle, 
You can just see how much she enjoys umpiring week in and regularly on a Saturday. Uh, she has grown so much in confidence and I'm confident that the Academy has allowed her to grow and continue umpiring. Um, thanks. Um, I accept this um, for Amy, who's my niece. Um, I guess you could say we're keeping it in the family because we've recently um, birthed my daughter as well. So um, Amy loves umpiring and is doing it not only at club trainings um, every week, at night netball on Wednesday nights. Um, she travelled with her school to umpire carnival there and she's enjoying it, so she'll be right. Thank you. Thanks, Rosie. Well done to all the umpires. Um, and don't, now that you're all badged, don't stop there. Keep going for your B. It's a lot of hard work. Anne will attest to that. I'm sure Leah will attest to that. I will attest to that. It is a lot of hard work, but well worth it when you get there. So um, set yourself a challenge. Uh, now, Ross, if you would like to come to the stage once again. Thank you. Um, it's my privilege to present and read out the Netball Junior Distinction Awards. So I'll call up the nominees first and uh, when we get them all up here we'll do the rest of the work. Thank you. Uh, Bella Robinson, Kiuna. Sophie Peacock of Kerrang. Sid Dyer, Kundruk Barham. Megan Baird, Mallee Eagles. Nicola Miliano, 9 I West United. Carla, Carly Meehan, Swan Hill. Sorry about that. Clissa O'Shaughnessy, Tulibuck Manangatang. Lily Dan Houding, Tintinda. And Meg Hogan Wurunun. Okay, and the 2019 Junior Distinction Award goes to Charlie Mina from Swan Hill. Well done. Congratulations, well done. I'll just take a minute and read out your nomination form. Won't take me too long. Charlie is an outstanding young woman a netballer with unique style and enthusiasm that makes having her around the Swan Hill Football Club Netball Club an absolute pleasure. Charlie has made and continues to make a rich contribution to many aspects of the club. She loves being involved as a player, an umpire, a coach, a spectator and a volunteer. During her many years at the club she has developed skills both on and off the court. As a player she has moved through the junior grades and has always been adaptable and willing to play in any position and made many appearances as a junior in the senior sides. In 2019, she joined the senior A grade side as a permanent player in defence and as wing defence, which as many of you know, is one of the most underrated and influential of the netball positions. Charlie plays this position with passion and ease. Her energy and commitment make her a role model for hard work and self-motivation. Charlie has always been committed to the team she plays with and to her training schedule. This is evidence from the many accolades she has won as at both club and a personal level. Four club best and fairest in the runner-up, a league runner-up, interleague representation throughout all juniors, Northern Zone Academy member, three years Murray Regional Rep at state titles, two times recipient of the Blue Ribbon Award, Central Murray Football Netball League 13's assistant coach and several grand final appearances. Charlie also this year is a Swan Hill and District Net Set Go coordinator and grades five, six, seven team coach. Charlie not only puts her effort into netball, but also basketball, winning a few awards over the years representing a school in sport, Year 10 Ducks in 2017 and a volunteer of several different programs and activities. Charlie displays excellent leadership skills on and off the court. She is always willing to step out of her comfort zone and try new things 
or take a leadership role. Generously sharing her time, knowledge and experience. No matter how busy she is, she'll always take time to support anyone who needs help. She is a conscientious student who is currently completing Year 12 at MacKillop College and is hoping to go to Monash University in Melbourne to study a Bachelor of Public Health or Health Promotion. Charlie leaves a lasting impression on everyone she meets, whether they've played netball with her or against her. She really is an extraordinary, kind and generous young woman who has a friendly and caring nature and is well liked by all who come in contact with her. The Swan Hill Football Netball Club Committee and wider Swans community, players and parents and spectators have no hesitation in nominating Charlie Mooney as the 2019 Netball all 19 and under distinction award. So congratulations and well done. That reads fantastic. Well done. Um, I'd just like to say a quick thank you to the Swan Hill Footy Club for being an awesome club to be a part of. Um, thanks to the league for picking me. And yeah, good luck to everyone on the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Well done to everyone that gets nominated for that award. Noel and Gav are going to make their way to the stage to present the G.K. Harrison Rookie of the Year Award very shortly. Now, Gav, as mentioned, we're here to do the uh, G.K. Harrison Rookie of the Year. And uh, for those that have a, a little booklet on your table... Have a bit of a look at it. There's some magnificent winners uh, back through the years there. Uh, we were just having a bit of a look over them. and some. I'm not going to mention one because that would be the wrong thing to do, but some terrific winners. And tell you what, the judges very rarely from that list are going to get it wrong. So, Gav, over to you for the uh, GK Harrison, Rookie of the Year 2019. Uh, thanks, Noel. And the nominees are Drew Lloyd from Bell Ranald, <laughs> Joshua Bird from Kuyuna, Joshua Hunter from Kerrang. Jack Shannon from Kundrup Barham. Marty Parsons, Lake Boga. Zach Friedgold, 99 West United. Hamish Robinson, Swan Hill, Robertson. Isaiah Bull, Tintinda. And Nawi Moore from Wurunane Football Netball Club. If you'd all make your way up here. As Noel said, you'd, uh, you'd, if you have these uh, nine guys in your team, you've got a, got a pretty formidable team. Um, it's really great to see the, the youth and the quality of these guys that are coming through the football system. Um, so well done to you all. And the winner of the... 2019 GK Harrison Rookie of the Year Award is Isaiah Bull from Tintinda Football Netball Club. <laughs> Isaiah started his football with Tintinda Junior Football Club in 2009 as a seven-year-old playing under 11. Isaiah won multiple awards at club and league level with best and fairest and runner-ups as well as the Blue Ribbon Player of the Year in 2018. Isaiah was a regular representative at interleague level throughout his junior career, from under 11s to Colts. Isaiah was a Colts captain and best on ground at this year's interleague match. Such is his talent. Isaiah was in demand for senior football last year in 2018 as a 15 year old, but decided it was in his long term best interest to finish the year in Colts. There has been no holding Isaiah back in 2019, playing all 16 senior games this year. Isaiah is still eligible Colts this year, 2019, and next year in 2020. Isaiah has played most of the year on the wing, with some rotations through halfback and on the ball. After finding his feet at senior level at the start of the year, Isaiah has quickly established himself as, in, as an important cog of the senior lineup. Isaiah has demonstrated his value to the team using his pace and height to advantage, regular tearing away from opposition and searching on the run or being a conduit between defence and attack. Isaiah shows great skill and poise in traffic, reliably, reliably delivering to a teammate by hand or foot on both sides of his body. His balance and ability to hold his feet boding well for the future. 
Isaiah has quickly developed a feel for the game well beyond the, his tender years, and as, a year, as the year has progressed, has had some enthralling duels with some of the league's best wingmen and on-ballers. In his first year of senior football, Isaiah has been listed in the senior best player an amazing eight times of the 16 home and away games played this season. His improvement and influence evident as the year progressed, being named in the best players the last six straight games of the year. Isaiah is also very active within the club off-field, filling jobs such as man in the canoe on match day, helping with those kick and being the Colts runner this year. Dintinda looks forward to Isaiah's continued improvement, becoming a key plank and leader of the senior, the senior football side and also within our football netball club. The Tintinda Football Club are proud to nominate Isaiah Bill as a 2009-19 Rookie of the Year. Congratulations, Isaiah. I'd just like to say thanks to Tintinda um, for everything they do. Justin Alice for um, letting me have a run this year and, yeah, that's about it. Cheers. Very well done. Congratulations, mate. Okay, we're a couple of uh, board members short this evening, but that's all good. Gav's going to get his other sheet uh, because we're going to move along and uh, present the 2019 Identity of the Year. And uh, again, in your best speaking voice, young man. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I'll try to. Okay, the Central Murray Identity of the Year. This person started her association with the Tully Butt Netball Club in 1991 as a 12-year-old only having two seasons off in this 29 year period while pregnant with Mayer in 2011 and Archie in 2014. As there are no officials rep records kept for netball prior to 2014, based on the information that Tully Butt Manang have, she would have played close to 500 games combined for the Tully Butt Netball Club and Tully Butt Manang Fo Football Netball Club. Over 400 of these being A grade games. A tremendous effort for, for the one club. This per person's commitment over 29 years has seen, seen her compile a few accolades including numerous years of league representation, four leagues best and fairest and two league runner-up, league leading goal shooter, named in the Central Murray Football ne Netball League 20 year anniversary team. This person has also been a leading, co lead a leading coaching but not only at the cl at club but at league having coached and played 19 years of A grade, 18 of those with finals appearances, six years of coaching juniors at club level, then coached Central Murray Football ne ne Netball League representative sides, three years in open, two years 17s coach, two as an assistant coach and selector. And rounding off with the Murray Region 17 selector of state titles this year. As the A grade coach, this person has been on the netball subcommittee at the Tooley Buckmanang Football Netball Club providing great value and knowledge to the netball representatives and on, the, on the football board. During this time, as a member of the club, she has had extensive representation at league level as a junior, senior, inter-league player, coach and selector. This demonstrates how well she is respected not only within the club but within the league. The level of commitment and dedication she has put into her role as a coach over this period of time has seen her held in the highest respect of all players that have had the opportunity to be coached by her. 29 years of commitment to one club as a player, as well as undertaking many coaching roles, demonstrates a tremendous reliability to our club. A player being committed to one club 29 years of nutball is a verity. Being female, often players leave their home club when they married. We are, and are very fortunate to have this person remain loyal to the Tooley Buck Tooley Buck and Tooley Buck Manang Football Netball Clubs over such a long period of time. Mostly in the netball court, she has celebrated good times. Although the ultimate glory has only come her way on one occasion with an under 17 premiership in 1994. Most years she has participated in finals as either a player or a coach or both. She has always been very aware of her players, developing quality relationships with each individual identifying and developing their specific skills and finding out how to get the most out of each athlete so they can be supported to reach their highest potential. 
She has also become a mentor to many junior players. When coaching, she tends to take her teams to the levels not necessarily expected. She has been instrumental in junior development of players in the club, not just coaching juniors over a number of years, but coordinating the junior development sessions for all players, as well as assisting junior coaches with their own development and knowledge of their own personal coaching roles. As our senior coach for such an extended period of time, this person has been involved in recruitment of players both senior and junior to the club, as well as retention of players that has, has had no other com commitment to Tully Buckmanang other than to play netball. Tully Buckmanang are able to have Mel White as a part of their club and the league are happy to announce Mel White for extended service at this year's 2009 Central Murray League Identity of the Year. Congratulations, Mel. And it's Mel Henson as well, as she's being married. Thank you very much. When someone said I had a ticket tonight, I really didn't know why, but I came along. Um, Playing netball has been an absolute privilege and it's not just about the netball, it's about the people that you get to do it with and I've been very lucky to have some great supporters and some great people to play with and I've made some great friends and more importantly I've coached lots of great people and they're my friends now and I think that's the best part about netball. So thank you very much. I feel very honoured and very privileged and um, I suppose I should thank my husband because... He didn't make me move clubs. He actually quit football when we started going out. So um, I've been very lucky to um, be at such a great place for such a great amount of time and I've had a great time. Thank you. Well done, Mel. Thank you. Cheers, Mel. Absolutely delightful lady, tell you what. Hey, we'll take a five-minute break uh, while Mel composes herself and gets the photo taken. Five-minute break. We'll be back. Thanks. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ross, you could make your way to the stage any time. If you've finished eating, <clears throat> they're keeping a running tally on how many plates of dessert Ross has had at that table. We're not at double figures. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, now, I'd also like to call to the stage uh, the hosts of Netball Central, Baz Lewis and Carly Marie Clark. Please make your way to the stage. You ladies are going to get interviewed now. The League would just like to take the opportunity to thank you for your contribution. And we've got a few hard-hitting questions, particularly for, for Baz. <coughs> it's not a stitch-up, it's gift-giving. <laughs> now, Baz, yeah, you can look. That's not, we're not really stitching you up. Why are you so paranoid? been done before. Okay. Um, there's been a question asked if you're back at Netball Central next year. Yes or no? Who asked that question? Doesn't matter who asked the question. I'm asking it now. I have no idea. Between now and next season, it's a long time. Can't make those decisions. So you're not going to give us a yes or no answer? Absolutely not. Okay. What about you, Carly? You back next year? Yeah, same. I'll just follow. What she <laughs> wow, there's a cop out. There you go, Choco. There's your answer. That's who asked me. <laughs> Ladies, would you like to say anything at all? We've got time. We're running half an hour in front of, in ahead of schedule. Of course you do. Well, we could just fill this in, couldn't we? Hey, we just pretend we're on air on a Saturday morning. So um, 
I guess from my point of view, thank you to everyone that supports the show. Um, we probably don't think anyone's listening, so we just babble on with crap most Saturday mornings prior to Noel coming on and dribbling with crap. Yep, wake up. <laughs> um, it's nice that we do throw to Noel every week, but he doesn't reciprocate and say thanks, girls, so we'll hold him to that this week. Um, this is probably a really good opportunity to remind everyone that Clarkie lost her tipping. So if you want to break out into the Tiger song tonight, that'll cover it going to Facebook Saturday morning, yeah? Should we remind her? How, no, we won't do that. It's fine. We won't do that to you. Um, I think we have a bit of fun. Um, we'd like to thank everybody that comes into the studio to record with us. It's a massive ask um, because then they head off to their games because it's Saturday morning live. <laughs> Shut up, Jade. Get back behind the bleachers over there. Um, so it, it is received well, I think. We have a bit of banter, we have a bit of fun and we lighten it up, but um, that's how we like it to be. So uh, this week might be a different story with you and I, but um, that's okay. <laughs> I'll hand it over to you. You can have the last word. I'll let you have that. Um, no, it is good fun and just I'd like to thank 3SH for giving Netball um, some airtime. Obviously, um, great part of our community and league, so it is really nice to be able to talk about the sport that we like for half an hour. And yeah, thanks to all the people that do come in. Um, I know my dad listens, but I don't know if anyone else does. But um, yeah, shout out to him. Um, but yeah, and thank you, obviously, yeah, to the league for um, yeah acknowledging the radio. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, ladies. Well done, and best of luck to both of you for Saturday. It's now time for the 2019 Guardian Netball Team of the Year. Oh, no, it's not. It's time for the A-grade Java Spice MVP Award. I missed that one. I don't have any nominations to read out. I'm just going st Okay, here we go. Equal fifth, Emily Patterson and Megan Kilderry on 34. Jeansy on 40, Sophie Peacock on 41, Taylor Stanley on 52. That's a lot of votes. So our winner is Laura Zanka <laughs> of Tullibuck Manangatang. If anyone doesn't want their dessert, Ross is still looking for some. <laughs> there's, look, there's some down on the Swan Hill table. Um, I would just like to say thank you to Java Spice for the award. Um, thank you to the league, all of the officials and the umpires who make game day happen each week. Um, to Tullibuck Manang Football Netball Club, thank you very much. Um, to all of the people that do the work behind the scenes to help us get out on court each week, thank you. Um, and to my team, thank you. Um, a few people have said tonight about individual awards, um, you know, you need your team behind you. So thank you to, Nettie's just pointing out my sister Amy. Thank you, Amy, um, partner in defence. Um, yeah, a lot of the time I probably get credit for the work that's done in front of me. So thank you to my team. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Laura. And now it's time for the Guardian Netball Team of the Year. And I'd like to call on Cohen. Is Cohen here to present? Excellent. Please come to the stage. We'll wait for Cohen to get here before we start reading them out. Okay, so, do you want him this side? Okay. In goal shooter, Taylor Stanley of Warrenine. Goal attack, Kelsey Rowe, Tintinda. Wing attack, Kelsey McCoy, Swan Hill. In centre, Tess Di Maria, Warrenine. Wing defence, Maddie Jeans, Warrenine. Goal defence, Laura Zanka, Tully Buckmanang. Goal keeper, Carly Marie Clark, Swan Hill. 
Make sure you stay up on the stage for a photo. And our inter interchange, Talani Lake, Kundruk Barham. <laughs> Laura Anderson, Tin Tinder. <laughs> Rachel Robertson, Kundruk Barham. <laughs> Gemma Meehan, Tin Tinder. And Sophie Peacock of Kerrang! We're doing a team of the year uh, today because there was no interleague. Um, so that's why it's a little bit different. Um, no, go over there so I can present the 2019 A-grade team of the year. Thank you, Cohen, and thanks to The Guardian. And that brings us to... The A-grade best and fairest vote count. I'm going to hand it to Sheridan now. We are starting at round one. Okay, round one, Lake Boga versus Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Bridget Dini. Tulibak Manangatang versus Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Rachel McLaughlin. Kahuna Kangas versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Rachel Robertson. Nine I West United versus Bell Ranald. Three votes, Bell Ranald, Hannah Morton. Swan Hill versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Swan Hill, Kelsey McCoy. Round two, Mally Eagles versus Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Gemma Meehan. Warrenine versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Warrenine, Taylor Stanley. Kerrang versus Tulibak Manangatang. Three votes, Tulibak Manangatang, Laura Zanka. Bal Ranald versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Bal Ranald, Jess Parry. Swan Hill versus Nyanai West United. Three votes, Swan Hill, Carly Marie Clark. Round three, Tintinda versus Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Madeline Jeans. Lake Boga versus Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Megan Kilderry. Tulibak Manangatang versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes, Tulibak Manangatang, Julie Wardle. Kahuna Kangas versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Madeline Nolder. Nine Eye West United versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Amy Jobling. Round four, Kerrang versus Tintinda. Three votes, Kerrang, Megan Kilderry. Kundruk Barham versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Talani Lake. Bal Ranald versus Tulibak Manangatang. Three votes, Tulibak Manangatang, Melanie Waite. Nyanai West United versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Nyanai West United. Nicola Miliano. Mally Eagles versus Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine. Olivia Jones. Round five, Tintinda versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes, Tintinda. Kelsey Rowe. Lake Boga versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Bal Ranald. Hannah Morton. Tulibak Manang versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Emily Patterson. Kahuna Kangas versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Sonia Lorenzoni. Warrenine versus Kerrang. Three votes, Warrenine, Rachel McLaughlin. Round six, Bal Ranald versus Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Kelsey Rowe. Swan Hill versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Swan Hill, Carly McIntyre. 
Nine I West United versus Tullibak Manangatang. Three votes Tullibak Manangatang. Melanie Waite. Kundruk Barron versus Warren Ean. Three votes Warren Ean. Taylor Stanley. Mallee Eagles versus Kerrang. Three votes Mallee Eagles. Meg Allen. Round seven, Tintinda versus Swan Hill. Three votes Swan Hill. Carly Marie Clark. Lake Boga versus Nyanai West United. Three votes Lake Boga. Stephanie Anderson. Tullibak Manangatang versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes Tullibak Manangatang. Julie Wardle. Warrenine versus Bal Ranald. Three votes Warrenine. Taylor Stanley. Kerrang versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes Kerrang. Tani Clark. Round eight. Nine I West United versus Tin Tinder. Three votes Tin Tinder. Kelsey Rowe. Kahuna Kangas versus Lake Boga. Three votes Lake Boga. Brianna Gilbert. Swan Hill versus Warrenine. Three votes Warrenine. Tessa De Maria. Bal Ronald versus Kerrang. Three votes Kerrang. Sophie Peacock. Mallee Eagles versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes Kundruk Barham. Talani Lake. So there's one of those nines there that has won nine of these things. Julie Wardle. So if she was to win again tonight, this would be number 10, which would be the most sensational effort and probably history making in country netball. Um, but we're only at round eight. We've got l many more rounds to go. So let's go. Round nine, Tintinda versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Tintinda, Gemma Meehan. Tullibak Manangatang versus Mallee Eagles. Three votes, Tullibak Manangatang, Laura Zanka. Warrenine versus Nyanai West United. Three votes, Warrenine, Tessa De Maria. Kerrang versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Madeline Nolder. Kundruk Barham versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Rachel Robertson. Round 10, Lake Boga versus Tullibuck Manangatang. Three votes, Tullibuck Manangatang, Julie Wardle. Kahuna Kangas versus Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Madeline Jeans. Nine Eye West United versus Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Sophie Peacock. Swan Hill versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes, Swan Hill, Carly Marie Clark. Bal Ronald versus Mallee Eagles. Three votes, Mallee Eagles, Ali Bookham. Round 11, Tintinda versus Tullibak Manangatang. Three votes, Tintinda, Gemma Meehan. Mallee Eagles versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Mallee Eagles, Amy Jobling. Kerrang versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kerrang, Megan Kildare. Kundruk Barham versus Nyanai West United. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Rachel Robertson. Round 12, Tintinda versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Tintinda, Laura Anderson. Lake Boga versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Emily Patterson. Tullibuck Manangatang versus Nyanai West United. Three votes, Tullibuck Manangatang, Laura Zanka. Warrenine versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes, Warrenine, Madeline Jeans. Kerrang versus Mallee Eagles. Three votes, Mallee Eagles, Ali Bookham. So after round 12, look at the mix of clubs. Warren Ain, Tintinda, Kerrang, Swan Hill, Kerrang, Kundruk Barham, which is fantastic. Um, and Taylor Stanley, Gemma Meehan and Sophie Peacock all on 14 with just a few to go. 
round 13, Swan Hill versus Tintinda. Three votes, Swan Hill, Madeline Older. Nine Eye West United versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Nine Eye West United, Denise Snyder. Kahuna Kangas versus Tullibak Menangatang. Three votes, Tullibak Menangatang, Jacqueline Clark. Bal Ranald versus Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Tessa Di Maria. Kundruk Baron versus Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Tani Clark. Round 14, Tintinda versus Nine Eye West United. Three votes, Tintinda, Kelsey Rowe. Lake Boga versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Lake Boga, Brianna Gilbert. Warrenine versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Warrenine, Taylor Stanley. Kerrang versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Kerrang. Sophie Peacock. Kundruk Barham versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Kundruk Barham. Talani, uh, Talani Lake. Round 15, Kahuna Kangas versus Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda. Madison White. Mally Eagles versus Tulibak Menangatang. Three votes, Tulibak Menangatang. Laura Zanka. Nine Eye West United versus Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine. Tessa Di Maria. Swan Hill versus Kerrang. Three votes, Swan Hill. Kelsey McCoy. Bal Ranald versus Kundruk Barham. Three votes, Kundruk Barham. Rachel Robertson. Round 16, Tullibak Menangatang versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Tullibak Menangatang. Laura Zanka. Warrenine versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Warrenine. Madeline Jeans. Kerrang versus Nye and I West United. Three votes, Kerrang. Sophie Peacock. Kundrick Barron versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Emily Patterson. Mally Eagles versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Ali Bookham. So it's changed a fair bit. Sophie Peacock by one vote at the top at the mo moment. Taylor and Laura both on 21 and Tess only a couple away on 18. Two rounds to go. Round 17, Tullibak Menangatang versus Tin Tinder. Three votes, Tullibak Menangatang, Julie Wardle. Lake Boga versus Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Amelia Bett. Kahuna Kangas versus Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Sophie Peacock. Swan Hill versus Bal Ranald. Three votes, Swan Hill, Kelsey McCoy. Round 18, Tintinda versus Lake Boga. Three votes, Tintinda, Gemma Meehan. Warrenine versus Tullibak Menangatang. Three votes, Warrenine, Tessa Di Maria. Kundruk Barham versus Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kundruk Barham, Talani Lake. Bal Ranald versus Nine Eye West United. Three votes, Bal Ranald, Rebecca Clayton. Mally Eagles versus Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Emily Patterson. And so, the 2019 A grade best and fairest is Sophie Peacock from Kerrang.
the microphone first. She just needs to compose herself a little bit. Oh, God. Um, wow, I definitely was not expecting that. <laughs> um, wow, where do I start? I'd love to thank my club, Krang. I love it. I love our coach, Ranga. She's like, we've gone so far this year. Oh, God, I'm shaking. <laughs> um, uh, wow, well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not good at these. Um, yeah, I just thank the league, the club, everything. The umpires on a Saturday, um, my team, of course. Um, oh, I love the girls; they're so good. And phew, yeah, um, yeah. Good luck to everyone on Saturday. Um, be a good game. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> well done, Sophie. And thanks for travelling all this way. Ross, did you want to say anything? No? no? Okay, cool. Yep. All right. <laughs> thanks, Sophie. Well done. It was close. They'll all be again on their website tomorrow. Now, if I could have the two A-grade coaches for Saturday's game... Come to the stage. Let's have a chat. Come on, Mads. Tess. Quick one. Quick little powwow. <sighs> she just did that to intimidate you. Just showing agility, going under bars and stuff. <laughs> Come over here. We're just going to have a little, little bit of a chat. Mads, tough game for you yesterday. Hey, how are you feeling? How are the girls feeling? Yeah, no, it was. It was, yeah, a tough, fought-out game. We had to hang on there in the last um, last few minutes and it certainly was hot out there. But, yeah, great to come away with the win and, yeah, be facing off in the grand final this week is, yeah, looking forward to it. It was hot yesterday. How did you and the girls find the – it wasn't really that hot, but when you're surrounded by concrete and you're running around, it's hot. How are your legs feeling? How are the girls' legs feeling? Yeah, I think everyone's, yeah, pulled up pretty well. Um, try and do as much recovery as we can. And, um, yeah, it definitely was hot. But I actually feel like we've been playing in a bit of heat over the last four or five weeks. So, yeah. So you're acclimatised and they're ready to go. Tess? Okay. You've, had <laughs> you've had the week off. You had a couple of weeks off or just the one? Just one. Just the one. So your legs are nice and fresh then? Yeah. few votes? That, that have been accumulated. Um, how are you girls feeling? Yeah, I think we're feeling quite relaxed. We've uh, rested up and we're just sort of keeping a lid on it and looking forward to battling it out with the top two teams. Keeping a lid on it's not a phrase I would associate with Naomi Lewis. Um, <laughs> oh, she says it's nothing to do with her, but she'd have to be one of... She, Baz Lewis is... In this league, and probably country netball, renowned as being one of the great netball mentors in many aspects, wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. And she would have a fair bit to do with you as your development as a coach? Yes, she does. She's in my back pocket. Correct. So, she has got something to do with it. Don't say you haven't. Um, for both of you, I'll get you to shake hands now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. Best of luck to both of you on Saturday. I'm sure it'll be a ripper game. Um, but you know what they say, Tess? Going through undefeated all year can... I don't want to jinx you. I don't want to jinx you. But that's just what everyone says. What are we doing to sort of keep that at arm's length? I had a feeling that you would say that. If it was coming from anyone, it would have come from you, Jade. So I'm glad you, you know... To be honest, we go out to win every week, so it's just happened to go that way. You know, Lee Matthews said when he was coaching that there was none of the streamers, there was none of the grand final hoo-ha and whatever because it's just another game. And at the start of the game, the score is zero all, so how you got there doesn't matter. So that goes for both of you. Best of luck. <laughs> and if you two wouldn't mind going to have a photo... Chelsea and Jade, eh, photo. go for a photo over there so Pam can pop it in the paper. 
because it'll no doubt be a big one on Friday as well. We are going to have a five-minute break and come back with all of the footy and uh, all sorts of things after that. Right, we, uh, next thing on my program is to have a chat to uh, Marcus and Dean. So, boys, let's go. Oh, just about give the microphone to these blokes. They do enough of this. Come up, boys. And then we have the uh, coin toss for uh, choice of rooms. So, here's a big fella, young Marcus. Won't get much out of either of these blokes. Jump in, Marcus. Get over here, mate. Come around. We'll do this uh, one either way. It's going all right. Right, mate, tell us all about it um, through the season. I think the plus that I noticed anyway is that you gave a lot of blokes a bit of a crack and the good thing is some of the youngsters had a go as well. Yeah, look, fantastic to see our youngsters coming through. Um, as we've seen, our rookie nomination, um, Nowy Moore. Uh, we had young Bomber Gallo, who's had an outstanding season, um, and a few other of our, our Colts kids. So fantastic that, um, you know, we're, we're up there on the ladder. Obviously finished on top, but we're also able to blood some youngsters as well. So I think that um, you know, says a lot about our club. Now, speaking of your club, you had the club BNF today. Just to let everybody know the uh, winner. Yeah, my old mate Lockie Gardner. So <laughs> as everyone knows, uh, I've been wrapped with his um, development so far this year. And um, yeah, so fantastic achievement for young Lockie. 19 years of age to win our best and fairest. Um, so congratulations to him and, and yeah, very, very proud of him. You have one major headache that I can see for this coming Saturday, mate. I'm sorry to announce this. You're going to have to coach from the ground. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. What, uh... You tell me you only want to coach from upstairs. Everywhere you go, you kick people out all over the place. <laughs> no, I've organised. I'm kicking you guys out of the box, and I'm going to get up in the, uh, in the commentator's box. Is that all right? Can I get... mate, you'll make more sense than we do, I can tell you that. <laughs> Come around, young fella. How are you, mate? Welcome along, by the way. Uh, Thank you, mate. First time ever I've seen a coach after a game getting into a grand final, drinking water, setting the precedent. Beautiful, mate. Well done. That was after three beers, Noel, but I did have to drive home. <laughs> That's not what Daniel... We're dropping him in it, aren't we? <laughs> I just want to, while I'm up here, thank Dan Bibby for helping us get to the grand final. <laughs> mate, it's been a super 2019, hasn't it? I mean, both of you will admit to that. It's been a terrific season. Yeah, it has. Look, it's been, there's been some ups and downs along the way for... The Mallee Eagles. Um, but look, we've stuck at it, and uh, here we are. We've got another crack at it. That's the good thing about it. I mentioned earlier on, all the way from 2018-19, under-14s, thirds, reserves, everybody's exactly the same. So what you're saying is right. It's been a hard road in for you, though, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, but it, um, I think it, um, it shows a little bit of the character of the boys. They've had to fight pretty hard to, um, to get where we are today. So hopefully we might find a little bit of luck now. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Okay, boys, uh, Marcus, you finished on top, so we're going to toss four rooms. So you get a choice. I'm going to ask a, a very good mate of mine, and I think a really good mate of the league, by the way, in Frank Curran, to uh, give Frank a round of applause, by the way. Good on you, young fella. Frank, and now, uh, Marcus, what would you like to say, mate? Heads or tails? Uh, we'll go tails. Tails never fails. Frank, and what have we got, young fella? Can you see from there? Tiles. It's a tail. Right, eh? What would you like to choose? Uh, we'll take the away rooms. Take the away rooms. You've got the home rooms. Congratulations. Good luck, boys. Well done. Thanks very much. Thanks, Noel. Thanks, Thank Have fun, eh? Cheers. Senior coaches and uh, Frank Curran on the way there. Absolutely fantastic. Rightio. Now we're going to uh, work our way through the interleague, 2019 interleague. And uh, can I again welcome uh, Scott to the microphone. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Noel. Um, yeah, so I'd just like to welcome, obviously, Marcus is already here. So Marcus is the senior coach for, um, for the 2019 side against Gippsland, and I know that'll win. So congratulations on the league on that win. Well done, boys. What I do now, I'm going to call up the selectors, uh, Luke Crow, Ash Thompson and Troy Tam, if they're all here, can come up quickly to the stage. Any of them here? Can't Snowy. Well, Snowy's there, yeah, he's here. Thought I'd seen Snowy. So you come in this one, Marcus. I think then you can get the tropes off the girls. I'll come this way. All right. So after that, we might as well start on all the players. So um, when you come up, the the uh, league's got a bit of appreciation for you, something to give you. So Marcus will uh, hand them out as he, as you come up. So over here, Tammy. Right. First up, we've got Corey Kelly from Warrenine. Not it. Not it. Joy Barry from Warrenine. 
Daniel Bibby from Mallee Eagles. Yeah. Right, Matt Anucci from Warrenean. Oh, Anucci, excellent. Brad Pay from Kerrang. Matty Wade, Swan Hill. Liam Holtz Fitz from Kundruk Barham. Harry Allen from Mallee Eagles. Tommy Tomer from Kuna. Marty Kelly from Kerrang. Cal Heslop, Swan Hill. Phil Smith from Kundruk Barham. Uh, Matty O'Dwyer from Kundruk Barham. Jaden Borchard from Mallee Eagles. So I will say, if, there's an, if, there's, if the players in here, just someone from the club come up, we're nearly through them. Um, I do Jason Deg, oh no, I can't pronounce this, Deg Abriel from Mallee Eagles. Briel. De, De Gabriel, thank you, um, from Mallee Eagles. Cameron Barrett from Bell Reynolds. Michael Dalrymple from Kerrang. Doug Beams, Warrenine. Brodie Hodson from Tully Buck Manang. Rodney Baird, Tully Buck Manang. Yeah. Alex Erlinson from Tully Buck Manang. Rex Hickman from Mallee Eagles. And Jacob Barrington from Kundruk Barham also. So that's it, that's the side. Still working all up, anyone's still coming up. Right, I'll just turn back over to Marcus for two seconds to say a couple of words. Thanks, Marcus. Um, well, all I'd like to say is it's been a privilege to, to coach the best in the league. Um, fantastic achievement as well to beat a, a, a league that's, um, you know, we're, I think they were ranked number 11. And we've had the opportunity to go from 18 to number 10. So we jumped in the top 10. I'm not sure when the last time we were in the top 10, but um, fantastic achievement. It was a privilege to coach these guys. And, yeah, to beat a, a league like Gippsland League, um, I reckon it's a pretty big achievement. So well done, guys. Good job. And uh, hopefully you can all have a go again next year. Thanks, guys. Okay, um, there's two groups of people that uh, we'd like to acknowledge tonight. Uh, the first one is the 3SA Central Murray live team with Noel, Brian, Shane Fleming and Glenn Stewart. They're there week in, week out. They do a great, tremendous job. They sit in the back of trucks uh, and I'm sure this week is going to be no different. Um, they'll be all out and about doing what they do. And if you get walk past Stewie, just go past and go, Pucker, 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 and he'll look, give you a silly look on his face. And uh, the people will know he'll, uh, there's a bit of an in-joke going on. The other, the other group of people we'd like to uh, acknowledge is the Central Rivers umpires. Um, you know, these guys probably don't get enough credit as, uh, that's due to them. Uh, it's a hard gig being out there as an umpire. Um, and regardless of 
the decisions we see on the bench or on the on the sidelines. You know, these guys are out in the middle um, and they cop it week in and week out, but they front up week in and week out and they do a great job. So congratulations to whoever's um, doing the grand final this weekend. All the best. Um, and hopefully uh, we'll keep growing the uh, Central Rivers umpires like we have this year. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kev. Okay, we now have um, a little bit of a highlights package going on here, from uh, my understanding. Well, thank you. And uh, we'll grab Kelsey to come up if she could, Kelsey McCoy, uh, from 218, because the first one is the uh, 2019 218 Degrees Senior Goal of the Year Award. So, uh, Dave. Iannucci picks up the ball now for Warren. Hurry, kick towards half back. Maloney's there for Swan Hill, picks it up, blind turns, gets around another, goes to 50, shoots for home, all the way! Big piece, Shepherds at three! Comes out between wing and half back, Cameron Arnold takes the mark, good mark, then he runs free, let's fly from the interchange area, it's carried over the back of the pack, don't tell me it's gone through! Xavier Alford, about 60 out, in he comes. Oh, sells some candy to O'Shea, goes to 50, let's fly, and kicks it. He now gathers it for Swan Hill, just a surging kick forward, goes inside 50, beats the two plays, kicked off the ground by Heslop for Swan Hill, he collects it, comes back, has a shot from the right foot, snap, and it's through. And the 218 degrees goal of the year goes to Save Maloney. Thanks, Al. Uh, thanks, Kels. Thanks, 218, for the sponsorship of uh, this award. And thanks to Mitch Makepeace for that little hold on the line, or Shepherd, you could call it. Um, yeah, thanks to um, Club and all the other award winners tonight, and good luck to all the teams this week. Well Excellent stuff. Thanks, Kelsey. Thanks, uh, Exie. And uh, thanks to whoever's putting these uh, highlights packages together. They're absolutely fantastic. The next one uh, we need to, if we could, please ask uh, Damien McFadden to come forward. Damien, if you would. Round of applause for Damien, one of our uh, many sponsors. It's absolutely fantastic to have um, sponsors. We all uh, understand the role of those. Now, this one is the 2019 Central Petroleum uh, uh, Mark of the Year, but just prior to showing them, uh, I might hand over, and uh, Damien would just like to say a few words, if you would, mate. Oh, thanks, Cheers, mate. You're right. Yep. Thanks, Dol. Uh, thank you, Noel. Um, thank you very much. It's um, on behalf of my parent company, uh, Sunraysia Petroleum in Irimple, we'd like to... Um, Thank the league for accepting us as a sponsor this year. It's it's fabulous to be part of a a league that's very um, community focused and uh, has has um, great respect for each for players and and, and uh, officials in the competition. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, let's play the uh, tape and then Damien can uh, announce the winner for us. So, the mark of the year. He's going to come in now, nice, high, long kick towards the boundary line, Brady! Huntley for Kundruk Bar, I'm told to play on. Kicks long inside 50, oh, Heffa! What a mark! This kick will go inside 50, looking for Boulder Sarah. Oh, from the back, Nitschke! Fitzgerald is going to sit this up towards the goal square. Oh, from behind, Reid! The winner of the 2019 Cent... Central Murray Mark of the Year is Warwick Brady.
Okay, wait here. Yeah. 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 Somebody coming up? Thanks, Noel. Thanks, Mike. Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not Warwick, but there's a few boys out the back there that could probably come up and uh, and grab the trophy and um, say a few words. But uh, yeah, um, uh, Wall's been a bit crook actually, so he didn't make it down today uh, from Mildura. But uh, we'll get it to him. And uh, thanks very much. Thanks, mate. Good on you. Cheers. I will ask uh, Greg to come forward again, if you could, please, Greg. Uh, this one on behalf of Mawson's, and uh, that's the Mawson's Greg Kelly Memorial Senior Goal Kicking Award. And uh, Greg will enlighten everybody. I'm sure we uh, pretty much know, but we'll give it over to him anyway. Thanks, Noel. <clears throat> okay, the uh, 2019 Seniors Greg Kelly Memorial Goal Kicking Award. Um, on fifth place, Brent Ar Arho, uh, 9 I West United on 34. Fourth place, Cal Heslop is from Swan Hill on 37. Third place, Zach Sard on uh, Mally Eagles on 40. Second place, Glenn Boyd from Warrenine on 66. And the winner this year is Dylan Johnson from Kanina Kangas on 79 goals. Thanks, Noel. Um, obviously, Dylan couldn't be here tonight. He's uh, working in Bendigo, so he works for uh, Bendigo Mental Health. So, uh, obviously, he'd be uh, wrapped with this uh, with this award. And obviously, thanks very much to Mawson's. And um, uh, obviously, uh, Dylan would like to thank his teammates very much. Obviously, without your teammates, you can't win these awards. Um, and uh, Dylan's been a great recruit for us. And um, to all the fullbacks, he'll be back again next year. That's for sure. And um, and he's been a great mentor to a lot of our young uh, young players throughout the year as well too, with so many young players in our side. So, thanks very much. Good luck to all the other teams for Saturday as well. Well said. Thank you, Grant. The next award is the uh, 2019 3SH Senior Football MVP Award. Thank you, 3SH. Um, fr from fifth place. Martin Kelly from Kerrang on 24. Fourth place, Thomas Toma from Kuna on 25. Uh, equal fourth is Callan Huntley from Kundrook Barham on 25. Third place, Xavier Maloney from Swan Hill on 34. Second place, Matthew Wade from Swan Hill on 35. Very close. And the winner is Troy Davis from Kerrang on 44 votes. Um, on behalf of Troy, he'd just like to thank the sponsors and um, the people who gave the votes and he'd like to thank the players he played with. Thank you. OK, we've got about a uh, five minute break and then we'll come back and do the Jack Betts medal. Five minutes and five minutes only. Thank you. OK, everybody, here we go. Thank you. 2019 Jack Betts medal and again if you have a look inside your little booklet you'll see some magnificent players have won the medal over the years. Another name's going to be added into history. Just a reminder we have the uh, three votes from round one. Updates at uh, round eight, 12 and 16. For the last couple of rounds uh, we're going to be reading out three, two and one so you catch up. But just a little reminder for those that, I don't know whether you've all spotted it, but the, obviously the little leaderboard over on the side there, keep an eye on it because it does rotate relatively quickly. I noticed through the netball, there were leader changes 
basically every round. So uh, please bear that in mind. Okay, for Jack Betts 2019, let's hear from David Alderuccio. Thanks, Noel. Round one, Lake Boga v Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Brett Pistola. Tully Buckman Angatang v Warrenine. Three votes, Tully Buckman Angatang, Brody Hodson. Kahuna Kangas v Kunjuk Barham. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Matthew O'Dwyer. Nine I West United v Barunald. Three votes, Barunald, Zach Westerberg. Swan Hill v Mally Eagles. Three votes, Swan Hill, Harry Stevenson. Round two, Mally Eagles v Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Dylan Smiley. Warrenine v Lake Boga. Three votes, Warrenine, Nick O'Neill. Kerrang v Tullibuck, Manangatang. Three votes, Tullibuck, Manangatang, Rodney Baird. Barunald v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kahuna Kangas, Thomas Toma. Swan Hill v Nyanai West United. Three votes, Swan Hill, Matthew Wade. Round three, Tintinda v Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Nick O'Neill. Lake Boga v Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Martin Kelly. Tully Buckman, Angatang v Kunjuk Barham. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Thomas May. Kahuna Kangas v Swan Hill. Three votes, Kahuna, Dylan Johnson. Nine I West United v Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Harrison Allen. Round four, Kerrang v Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Brett Pistola. Kunjuk Barham v Lake Boga. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Jared Wishard. Barunald v Tully Buckman Angatang. Three votes, Tully Buckman Angatang, Gareth Grant. Nyanai West United v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kahuna Kangas, Thomas Toma. Mally Eagles v Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Douglas Beams. Round five, Tintinda v Kunjuk Barham. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Thomas May. Lake Boga v Barunald. Three votes, Barunald, Zach Westerberg. Tully Buckman, Angatang v Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Matthew Wade. Kahuna Kangas v Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Harrison Allen. Warrenine v Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Troy Davis. Round six, Barunald v Tintinda. Three votes, Barunald, Cameron Barrett. Swan Hill v Lake Boga. Three votes, Swan Hill, Luke Phelan. Nine I West United v Tully Buckman Angatang. Three votes, Tully Buckman Angatang, Brenton Chis. Kunjuk Barham v Warrenine. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Callum Huntley. Mally Eagles v Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Sean Wilson. Round seven. Tintinda v Swan Hill. Three votes, Swan Hill, Matthew Wade. Lake Boga v Nyanai West United. Three votes, Nyanai West United, Jaden Borchard. Tully Buckman Angatang v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Tully Buckman Angatang, Zach Peake. Barunald v Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Corey Kelly. Kerrang v Kunjuk Barham. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Tom Lamb. Round eight, Nine I West United v Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Brock Storer. Kahuna Kangas v Lake Boga. Three votes, Kahuna, Thomas Toma. R Swan Hill v Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Lachlan Gardner. Barunald v Kerrang. Three votes, Barunald. Daryl McDowell-White. Mally Eagles v Kunjuk Barham. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Callan Huntley. And it was the, up, the uh, update after round eight. Some on-ballers, uh, Matty Wade on top, the only bloke uh, to win two jack bets in a row in history. Math Wade, Tommy Toma there, prolific uh, ball winner. Of course, Tommy May, Nick O'Neill, Harry Allen, uh, played a ripper, got them in, uh, well done. 
Cam Barrett, of course, uh, Borch, and uh, lots of others. So plenty of uh, votes to go, but gee, that's a lot of votes already for some of these guys up the top. Thanks, David. Thanks, Noel. Round nine, Tintinda v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kahuna, Kangas, Daniel Patterson. Tully Buck, Manangatang v Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Harrison Allen. Warrenine v Nine I West United. Three votes, Warrenine, Jose Miliardo. Kerrang v Swan Hill. Three votes, Kerrang, Bradley Pay. Kunjuk Barham v Bar Arnold. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Jacob Barrington. Round 10, Lake Boga v Tully Buck, Manangatang. Three votes, Tully Buck, Manangatang, Brenton Chislett. Kahuna Kangas v Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Joshua Stone. Nine Eye West United v Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Dennis Boyd. Swan Hill v Kunjuk Barham. Three votes, Swan Hill, Matthew Wade. Bar Arnold v Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Andrew McDonald. Round 11, Tintinda v Tully Buck Manangatang. Three votes, Tully Buck Manangatang, Zach Peak. Mally Eagles v Swan, uh, Lake Boga. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Harrison Allen. Kerrang v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kerrang, Troy Davis. Kunjuk Barham v Nine I West United. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Callum Huntley. Round 12, Tintinda v Bar Arnold. Three votes, Bar Arnold, Lane Fitzgerald. Lake Boga v Swan Hill. Three votes, Lake Boga, Cliff Ryan. Tully Buckman Angatang v Nine I West United. Three votes, Tully Buckman Angatang, Dustin Gordon. Warrenine v Kunjuk Barham. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Thomas May. Kerrang v Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Harrison Allen. Well, there we go, the update. And uh, for those who are watching, Harry's picked up a stack of votes through that section. And uh, you hear about players, or we hear about uh, around town, players having a good session. I think of the, most of those blokes in about the top eight have had a really good year. Hence the number of votes. But uh, Harry Allen, over Matty Wade, Tommy May, and Tommy Tomer, and a big truck in there, Callan Huntley. Thanks, David. Going to take us through now to uh, well, round 16. Thanks, Noel. Round 13, Swan Hill v Tintinda. Three votes, Swan Hill, Matthew Wade. Nine I West United v Lake Boga. Three votes, Nine I West United, Corey Daniels. Kahuna Kangas v Tully Buck Manangatang. Three votes, Kahuna Thomas Toma. Bar Arnold v Warrenine. Three votes, Bar Arnold, Daryl McDowell White. Kunjuk Baron v Kerrang. Three votes, Kerrang, Troy Davis. Tintinda, round 14. Tintinda v Nine I West United. Three votes, Tintinda, Brock Storer. Lake Boga v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Kahuna Kangas, Scott Beatty. Warrenine v Swan Hill. Three votes, Warrenine, Douglas Beams. Kerrang v Bar Arnold. Three votes, Kerrang, Troy Davis. Kundruk Baron v Mally Eagles. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Bo Bennett. Round 15. Kahuna Kangas v Tintinda. Three votes, Tintinda, Lachlan Gilbert. Mally Eagles v Tully Buck Manangatang. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Bowden Alexander. Nye and I West United v Warrenine. Three votes, Warrenine, Joshua Domal. Swan Hill v Kerrang. Three votes, Swan Hill, Matthew Wade. Bar Arnold v Kunjuk Barham. Three votes, Bar Arnold. Daryl McDowell White. Round 16. Tully Buck Manangatang v Lake Boga. Three votes, Tully Buck Manangatang, Gareth Grant. Warrenine v Kahuna Kangas. Three votes, Warrenine, Jamie Nicholas. Kerrang v Nine I West United. Three votes, 
Nine Eye West United, Jaden Borchard. Kunjuk Barham v Swan Hill. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Jacob Barrington. Mally Eagles v Bar Arnold. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Harrison Allen. After 16 rounds, oh, this is an epic battle. Absolutely fantastic. And again, uh, have a look at the votes that are sneaking through in the, uh, the lower levels. Uh, Troy Davis in there. I think Matty Wade picked up one. Harry Allen picked up a couple uh, as well. And then, of course, the three at the end. Uh, we'll get Greg Bear up here ready just to, uh, so he can announce it because we've got two rounds to go. Remember, we're going to count three twos and ones. or In fact, it's one, twos and three. So, David Alderuccio, over to you, young man. Thanks, Noel. Round 17, Tully Buckman Angatang v Tintinda. One vote, Tintinda, Marcus Waddy. Two votes, Tully Buckman Angatang, Alex Elderson. Three votes, Tully Buckman Angatang, Nathan Jakira. Lake Boga v Mally Eagles. One vote, Mally Eagles, Dominic Kilworth. Two votes, Mally Eagles, Daniel Bibby. Three votes, Mally Eagles, Harrison Allen. <laughs> Kahuna Kangas v Kerrang, three votes, Kerrang, Bradley Pay. Two votes, Kerrang, Troy Davis. Three votes, Kerrang, Martin Kelly. Swan Hill v Bar Arnold, one vote, Swan Hill. Lincoln Frost. Two votes, Swan Hill, Matthew Wade. Three votes, Swan Hill, Xavier Maloney. Round 18, Tintinda v Lake Boga. Three votes, uh, sorry, one vote, Tintinda, Brock Storer. Two votes, Tintinda, Dylan Smiley. Three votes, Tintinda, Marcus Waddy. Warrenine v Tully Buck Benangatang, one vote. Warrenine, Josh Stone. Two votes, Warrenine, Lachlan Gardner. Three votes, Warrenine, Jai Hogu, uh, Jai Barry. <laughs> Kunjuk Barron v Kahuna Kangas. One vote, Kahuna Kangas, Scott Beatty. Two, two votes. Kunjuk Barham, Kai Atwell. Three votes, Kunjuk Barham, Callum Huntley. Bar Arnold v Nine I West United. One vote, Nine I West United, Jason Buddy. Two votes, Bar Arnold, Zach Westberg. Three votes, Bar Arnold, Cam Barrett. Mally Eagles v Swan Hill. One vote. Swan Hill. Xavier Maloney. Two votes. Mally Eagles. Harrison Allen. Three votes. Swan Hill. Matthew Wade. And the 2019 Central Murray Seniors Best and First goes to Harry Allen from the Marley Eagles. Congratulations. Yeah, come on, get on your feet. That deserves it. Well done. Um, yeah, thanks for that. God, red hair's going to stick out, isn't it? Um, no, look, it's been a pretty up and down year, personally and as a club, but um, just like to thank, yeah, Lalit and Malegas, um, to Dean, Brent, our coaches, and everyone supporting. Um, means a lot. 
uh, to the umpires and the league, not only um, just for all your efforts every week, um, it's a tough job, but we appreciate what you do, um, to volunteers, everything. Um, can't, uh, mum and dad, they're, you know, second down with their support, although they're up at Noosa, so they're not really here tonight, which is uh, <laughs> unfortunate, but, yeah, um, but, you know, particularly to, to dad, he's just, he's, um, footy side, he's a bit of an off-field coach for me, which I really appreciate, um, to all other players, you know, look up to, I, you know, really, as much as I hate playing against you, because you dominate, it's, you know, you really, um, bring the best out of not only me, but the rest of, um, the other guys, so, yeah, I'm speechless, so thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah, give him a big round of applause. Harry Allen got a big game on Saturday, of course. There's your list. Have a look. One vote. Matty Wade, Truck Davis has had a sensational year. You can read them. And as you know, they will be up on uh, your social media, etc. I'll hand it back to Greg. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Noel. <clears throat> Just in finishing... Um, firstly, on behalf of the uh, league clubs and broader communities, um, our condolences go out to uh, the Tuli Buckmanang and families of the Max Bulbinson who um, unfortunately passed away yesterday. Um, so I'll continue on. Um, thank you, Noel and Jade, for tonight, for emceeing. Well done. Great effort. Thank you also to... This, um, Sheridan, the girls, well done Choco, on all the efforts here, getting all the stuff together. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of work because we've just come off obviously finals, two lots of finals, grand finals, and they've had to put all this together as well, so it's, uh, it's a lot of work at this stage of the year. Um, congratulations to all winners tonight. Um, well done, enjoy, if you're close, there's things to improve obviously, so you just got to keep going and enjoy it. Enjoy your... Uh, enjoy your clubs, etc., etc. Um, good luck to all the teams on Saturday. Um, we're we're certainly looking forward to really some really big contests. Um, it's going to be um, something that, you know something we're all looking forward to. Hopefully, a big crowd get right behind it. Um, there's a lot of organising of grand finals in terms of the administration, umpires, grand staff, etc. The clubs are organising their teams, so there's a lot of work. So it, hopefully, everyone can really appreciate it. Behave. If you're there, having enjoying yourself, um, and on behalf of the uh, Central Rivers Board, we'd all like to hope all clubs uh, are positioned even better going to next year. Our, our aim is is after this uh, finishes that we can all plan and get ready and and be even stronger next year. So safe travelling home, and hope you all have a good. Uh, hope you all get there on Saturday, and we all have a, a good day. Thank you.